afternoon. It's uh, Ian at uh, the Hockey Homes team at uh, Keller Williams. Uh, we thought we'd do a bit of a wrap up. Um, this week the government announced some changes uh, to particularly to affect first time buyers on, on affordability and how to get into the housing market which seems to be going nowhere uh, right now. Actually not a bad thing that the real estate market's going nowhere. Uh, the last couple of years have seen a bit of a roller coaster and uh, a year where maybe prices are static, so a couple of percent up wouldn't be a bad thing. Uh, so we have some notes um, that the government released uh, this week, specifically designed to help those first-time buyers get into the market. And the, the number that's been banded around is that over the next few years, CMHC uh, will provide incentives for up to $1.25 billion uh, towards the first-time buyer. Well, how's that going to show up? Because they're not just going to give you the money, that's for sure. Um, so the general idea is, is that CMHC would provide some of the down payment for you uh, if you didn't have it. So up to 10% potentially uh, of a purchase price if you didn't quite have enough money. And one of the issues over the recent years is that the house prices have gone up so fast uh, that the people saving uh, for deposits just couldn't save fast enough. So the, the advent here that CMHC have said that they would provide, or the government has said they will provide up to 10% of the purchase price uh, not sure if it's interest free, but they will provide you with the money. You do have to pay it back, however, so it's not like a forgivable grant. Um, you know, I have some two schools of thoughts on this. Uh, the first thing is, is if you read the fine print, they're not just going to give you 10%. Uh, if you're buying a new build home, they might give you up to 10%. If you're buying a resale home, it's only limited up to 5%. And there's also a cap on that. So it's going to be capped at four times uh, gross earnings. Um, and it's going to be capped at 480,000. All right, so that's good. It's better than nothing. Uh, but in Barry, where we, we're currently residing here, the average house of, uh, price house uh, is, is sort of around about $470,000 approximately, give or take a bit. Uh, so we would just about make the average uh, price. And of course, the average townhome is probably around about 380,000. So definitely within the limits where this might have some effect. If you're in Toronto, however, the average price of a house in Toronto is $760,000 approximately. So there's no way that the average uh, house price is going to be really directly affected by this. Um, the first time buyer is going to be capped out around about $480,000 and that really isn't going to get you much more than a small condo downtown. So there's a limited gain I see uh, with this. Anything that can be done to help a first time buyer purchase a home I think is a good thing so let's not um, say that it's not a good thing uh, but I'm wondering about what the actual effect is, is truly going to be. Uh, the other thing that I always look at with, uh, with this type of um, move, whenever the government tries to change something in the housing market they're trying to affect um, effectively supply and demand and when you think about it I, the one thing I can guarantee you is there'll be more people living in Ontario next year than there are this year and there was more people in Ontario this year than there was last year so just natural supply and demand we need to build homes, we need to build affordable homes, and we need to make sure that first-time buyers have the ability to not just purchase them, but afford them. Uh, and that probably means that uh, salaries and, uh, and inflation probably needs to continue to, to rise. Uh, so a good thing, it's going to save potentially up to about $200 a month um, for the first-time home buyer. That's a, that's a good thing. Uh, whether it has a lasting effect, I am not totally sure to be honest with you. Give it a year and this incentive would have worked its way through the market and house prices would have probably moved up enough where the benefit to this incentive has did, uh, has gone. Uh, so in any case, I don't want to sound negative because it's not negative, but it's just a, a little bit of healthy scepticism as to how much effect this might have on the market. I'm not sure right now, uh, but I do know that uh, anything we can do to help a first time buyer get into the market is a good thing. So that's Ian Hocking with the Hocking Homes team at Keller Williams. Uh, just giving you an update on the government measures announced uh, earlier this week. If you have any questions about that or you'd like to talk to us you can find us at 705-252-7939 that's 705-252-7939 have a great afternoon